Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use my free 3D jersey mock-up inside Blender, complete with high quality textures, to create your own custom animations. So first, I'll have a link in the description for this, but you want to head to my Gumroad page, which is just rockcreative.gumroad.com, and here you're going to find a bunch of free mockups, but you want to go for the free Blender 3D jersey mockup. And once you click on this, you'll be sent to this page here, and in order to get it for free, you want to go to this box here and just enter $0. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can enter a tip of whatever you like, but it's not a requirement. If you want to get it for free, just enter $0 and click add to cart. And once you've extracted your zip folder, you'll have everything that you need here to get started. So firstly we're just going to open up the blender file and here's where we're going to be greeted with our 3D mockup. But in order to see anything we want to go to the top right of our viewport and change this to the rendered view. And now we can see the template design but we want to change this to our own design. So what we're going to do is go back to our folder and we're going to open up the Photoshop template. But just before we get into this, if you don't have Photoshop, I've also included a transparent template. And if you use a different photo editing software like Canva, for example, this is what you're going to use instead. So back to our Photoshop template, we have our guidelines here and this is where we're going to place our design. So I already have a design here that I'm going to drag into our template. And to make sure that my design is confined to the template, we want to drag our design into this folder here where it says your designs in here, which essentially means that anything that is placed within this folder is confined to the template itself. So once we have our design placed exactly where we want it, we can turn off these guidelines as we no longer need them. And if you want to change the background color of this jersey, you can click on the background color and then change it to any color that you like, but we're just going to keep this as black. And once we're happy with everything, we can go up to file and then save the project as it is, or we can export it out as an image file. So I'm just going to export this out as a PNG and we can call this Brock Creative Design and then hit save. So we're going to go back into our Blender file now and in order to get our design on the mockup, you want to make sure that you have the mockup selected and then we're going to go down to the material properties. And here on the front design, we want to go to the folder icon and then find where we've saved our design. So for me, this was saved under Brock Creative Design. So we're going to open the image and now it's going to be placed onto our mockup. But if you get into this mockup file and you find that the shirt is pink or purple, this essentially means that Blender can't locate your design file. So you're going to follow the same process by clicking on the folder icon and then selecting your design. And now that we have everything working how we want it, we can actually customize this even further. So there's different labels here. For example, if we click on this and then go to base color, we can actually change the color of the collar and we can do the same for the sleeve color. And if you look closely, we can even change the coloring of the stitching as well. So I'm just going to customize this to be all green. And once we're happy with our design, we can go into the output properties. And where it says choose your save location here, you just click on this folder icon and then choose where you want to save your render. Now this automatically renders out as an image sequence, but you can change this to a movie file if you want to. This mockup has a 360 animation already for you so that you can see the different sides of your design. And once we're happy with this, we go to render and click render animation. 